For today's video, I figured I'd show what I do during a general week of training. Specifically, I'll be going over the climbing days from last week. So get yourself a snack, a nice drink, sit down and relax, and maybe you'll gain some inspiration for how to tweak or adapt your own training. Tuesday. Today's my first day of climbing so far this week, and as you guys can see, I start off with warming up on some easier climbs. Pretty early on, I spot this slab, which seems interesting, so I give it a couple of attempts. But I switch over to this easier route on the side to get a bit more warmed up. Pretty smooth start, but I'm fumbling a bit at the top. Eventually, I manage to get into a somewhat stable position and secure the top hold with both hands. Then, back to the slab for a few attempts. As you guys can probably tell, slabs are not a strong suit in my climbing, but that only means I should pay more attention to them. After some playing around, I decide to leave it for another time as I have a few routes in mind for this session I want to stay somewhat on track. The gym is pretty packed today, so lots of people on the wall, but I find this pinchy route that is not yet occupied and decide to give it a go. The routes in this gym are colour coded, and you can see the different colours and corresponding grade ranges on the screen. This pinchy route with blue holds is a red boulder problem. Also, the top holds are not marked by the way, so you'll just have to trust me that the top is where I point it out to be. The blue holds are somewhat awkward pinches, especially with my hand placement. I could definitely have visualised it more from the ground and figured out a better beta, but I got the flash figuring out the route as I went up, so no stress. Then there's this other red route I've tried a few times in a prior session, so I want to see how my performance is today. It's got some funky moves for sure, as you guys can see these big slopey cones are somewhat taxing to hang on to, but maintaining good body tension and getting my feet back on the wall quickly when my legs peel off, I slowly get up. Then I see a familiar face in the climbing gym, and the initial plan I had for the session kinda goes in the bin, not gonna lie. She's working on this overhanging red problem with green holds. I haven't done this route before and it seems cool, so she shows me her current beta and we give it a good couple of tries. As you can see, it's got this funky heel hook, toe clamp sort of move. I find this to be quite difficult as you can probably tell from the video. It feels very strange and it's not like much I've done before. So it takes me longer than expected, but eventually I have a bit of a breakthrough and manage to use the heel effectively to get to the next part of the sequence. Having managed what seems like the crux once, I start playing around with the start. However, when I get to the heel look again, I realise my body has no recollection of how I did the move the first time around, and with the extra fatigue that comes from having attempted the problem from the start, I drop off. In climbing, muscle memory from having practiced particular moves over and over again is very important, and so I decide to keep practicing this heel move until I can get it consistently. But several attempts later, I have not managed to stick it another time, and I'm left questioning what I'm even doing. I see another guy working on the same route and ask him how he does it. I give it a few more goes, but decide to leave the route for today and come back to it next time, hopefully with my subconscious mind having worked on it well enough for this to be an easier challenge then. The same guy tells me about this black problem he's working on, and I decide to give it a few goes before moving on to some strength training. To begin with, going for the heel hook seems promising, but eventually we realise that a knee bar would set up for a much easier time to get up the latter half. Oh well, it will have to wait till next time. At this point I feel pretty tired as the red root with green holds took quite some strength out of me and did a fair bit of heel and finger damage given the heel hook toe clamp situation and the rather rough crimpy holds. Initially today's strength session was supposed to be max hangs on the 15mm edge but being somewhat tired and not wanting to risk a potential finger injury I will instead go for sub max hangs on the 15mm edge and do some weighted pull ups right after. I build up to 15 kilograms on the 15 mm edge for a 10 second hold, followed by 5 speedy weighted pull up reps on the jugs.
Repeat for three rounds total, then some stretching. But it got really crowded at the gym, even in the strength section, so I did my mobility work and wrapped up the front split stretches at home later in the evening. 